Haired Ryan here, and we are going to another tier list somehow that for some reason doesn't show usual starters, but Pokemon starters. Um, it's waiting to load right now, so I do apologize. Oh, there we go. Um, I don't know if the Gen 9 starters are in here. I probably would skip them anyways because they're brand new. Um, this is going completely off of my personal opinions. Um, so it's not going to be about like if this is a highly competitive starter or not. It's just through my personal experiences and my personal opinions on what these starters are like to me. Um, so while we're waiting, I want to make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. Um, also, make sure you guys stop at GameStop, I should say, too, if you're playing Legends Arceus. Uh, you can get a free Hisuian Growlithe and 20 uh, Feather Balls just by walking in and saying you play Legends Arceus. So make sure you guys do that. Um, I haven't redeemed mine yet. Um, planning to do that today but I just wanted to bring that up to you guys so that way I have a feeling I'm gonna get some very controversial picks here for you guys so first off we do not have the gen 9 starters in here um, but we do have gen 8 which is perfect so I want to do this in order of uh, duration it will make it easier so let's Bulbasaur, I haven't actually really used that much. Um, I'm going to have to put in B tier. Just because, like I said, I haven't really been able to use a Bulbasaur. When I do, though, I do enjoy it, but it, I don't use it a lot. Next is Charmander. Charmander is A plus tier. Um, for sure, Charizard is a good starter. Charmander is iconic. And it's just Squirtle. Squirrel's another one that I haven't really used. I'm planning to use it when I play Leaf Green. Um, but yeah, I'm also going to have to put that B starter. Um, or B tier. Because, again, usually Charmander is the one that stands out. Um, next would be Chikorita. Chikorita I am going to put D tier. Um, it's just... It's not a good starter. And Magnanium's not a good starter either. Every time I've played with a Chikorita, it's been, like, very hard to play with. Um, next is Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil I'm going to put um, in the A tier, because it is a amazing Pokemon. Uh, one, I think I think it might be my first Pokemon I ever got. I either got that or a Totodile first. Um, so, yeah, I'm very in love with that. I will also put... Actually, I will put Totodile in A tier, um, mainly for the fact that, again, one of my first Pokemon I ever remember getting, I think I kept forgetting to save, so I kept restarting, and I would always switch between um, Cyndaquil and Totodile, but uh, I remember beating the game with a Feraligator, so yeah, that's another standout one. Next is Torchic. Torchic will be in S tier. Because although Totodile or Cyndaquil was my first Pokemon, Torchic was my first that I rem still have and remember getting. Um, just <laughs> amazing. Uh, I still have my starter from Pokemon Ruby, and I just love that I that that Torchic was where it started. It's insane. But yeah, then I skipped over Trikyu on accident. Shriku's alright, I'll give it an A tier, it's an okay Pokemon. Um, again, I, up until recently I never really used Grass types that much. But uh, yeah, Shriku was one that I rarely ever used. And then finally for Gen 3 we got Mudkip, there's Mudkip. Mudkip, whoa, is not going in D tier, it's going in A tier. I love this Pokemon, it's a good Pokemon, um, but... Can't, it's Torchic's rival. <laughs> um, so next would be Churchwig. Churchwig, or Churchwig, I call it Churchwig. Um, I'm gonna have to go C tier. I, it, Gen 4 is weird.
because their starters are good, but you basically have to choose Chimchar, otherwise you are short a fire starter. That's why I'm also putting Chimchar kind of in a B list, just because it is a good Pokemon. Firefighting is a good type, obviously, and the Chimchar line just encompasses that the best, but I don't like that we're kind of forced to have to use it if we want to use a fire type. And then Pimplup, I'm um, going to have to go Beecher as well. Its first two forms are good, its last form is terrible, <laughs> so that's why. Um, so now we're at Gen 5. Snivy, um, Snivy, I'm not even going to like fully go through this because it's Snivy to Pig. If my mouse wasn't fighting me right now. My mouse does not agree with me. Yep. Snivy to Pig and Oshawott. Gen 5 has my least favorite starters, um, in all honesty. I'm not a big fan of them. So, all three of them I'm putting in D tier because, I mean, I'll still use them, I'll st if I, obviously, if I have to pay, play Gen 5. But, honestly, they're my least favorite starters. So, Gen 6. Chespin is going up in the A tier. This was the first time I did a grass type starter and I loved it. So yeah, Chespin definitely great. Fennekin, also a good Pokemon but that's going in A tier. Um, I have a shiny, um, or I hatched a shiny Fennekin that in, evolved into a shiny Delphox and it was, it's just cool that I have that. But, Fruki, S tier, mainly because Greninja is amazing, and that's why you have to put Fruki up there too. Alright, let's do Gen 7. We got Rowlet as an S tier, owls are my favorite animal, and again, grass type, amazing, I love it. Litten, I'm going to have to do Litten in the C tier. Uh, fire type, fire dark is an okay typing. I just, I didn't really care for my playthrough when I did it with, um, Lembor, uh, Embor, not Embor, Incineroar and, uh, Litten. I just, it, it's okay, but I will say this. One of my least favorite Pokemon of all time is Poplio. So yes, it is in the E tier. I cannot stand this Pokemon. Every time I see a Poplio, I just want to punch it. Um, so now we got the Gen 8 starters. I'm putting Grookey up at A tier. Again, started with him. Loved Rillaboom. Um, great Pokemon. Score Bunny. I'm going to put in B tier. Very good Pokemon. Very good design. However, Sobble was better. Sobble is in the A tier, mainly for my shiny Inteleon that I use competitively. It's amazing. So. I actually have to make it. I'm going to do one extra thing at the end and make a choice for which one I would choose for the perfect starter. Because, I mean, look what we got here on the S tier. We actually have a starter triangle, which is great. So, E is Poplio, can't stand them. D is Chikorita and the Unova starters. C is Turtwig and Litten. B is Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Chimchar, Pimplup, and Score Bunny. A tier is um, Cyndaquil, Triku, Mudkip, um, Sobble, and Fennekin. A plus tier is Charmander, Totodile, Grookey, and Chespin. And then the A tier, or er, S tier, we have Torchic, Fruki, Fro Fruki, Froki, and Rowlet. Um, I would have to say Rollet would probably be my choice starter. Um, Torchic is all about like nostalgia for me. Greninja is good competitively, but Rollet, I mean, it's an owl. It's a grass ghost type too at the end, which is really cool. Unless you're doing Legends Arceus, which is a grass fighting type, which is also awesome. So yeah, that is my um, tier list. Tell me. Subscribe.